Nikki's back, 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 back again, again, again. Nikki's back, back, back. Tell y'all friends, friends, friends. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. So y'all already know we're gonna see what's tea, what's popping. So I'm going to tap into tonight's energy, figure out what's going on. But spirit, I am going to be using a couple different decks too. So hopefully, ain't nothing popping, cause. I don't feel like talking about nobody today, okay? So hopefully we can keep our little smart ass mouth to ourselves, okay? Hopefully. So, let's see what's going on for my collective. Thank you guys for everyone who has been liking, subscribing, commenting, just all of that. And again, you guys, my IG is hacked, so please don't reply to none of their DMs, anything like that. I literally cannot get my IG back. I think that's a sign for me just to make a new one. Oh, well, I had a whole bunch of haters on that bitch anyways, so I really don't care. But again, you guys, my IG is hacked, so don't get scammed, okay? But I will be possibly making a new one soon, but I'm trying to figure out how I want it to look. That's why I haven't created it yet, okay? So let's connect, spirit, let's connect. Connect me to their energy in three, two, one. What's going on for my collective? What's happening in the energy? Let's see. The Emperor and the Justice card. Okay, hold on, wait a minute. With the Six of Wands. Ooh, somebody from your past could possibly be getting judged right now or they could be going through like some sort of legal case. Okay, whoever this damn Aries is, it ain't looking too good. It ain't looking too good. Or somebody could possibly, why am I even doing this? Somebody, I don't know, somebody is scared. Could be this emperor, this fucking Aries. I don't even wanna say emperor. It is the emperor card, but like, I feel like this person is possibly only the emperor because they only have, because they have children. That's significant, but somebody from your past could be receiving horrible karma. And on top of that, guess what you're receiving? Good karma. So somebody's on the, I wanna say the bad side of karma, you're on the good side. I don't know what this person was trying to do behind the scenes, but I feel like it did not work. Okay, if this person was trying to get you out, someone just said for real, if this person was trying to get you out of the picture or they were doing something slimy, something just not right, and again, karma gets everybody, every single one of us, and I feel like they seen this person and they're like, yeah, we're gonna fuck you up, but on top of that, we're gonna uh, make sure that you see her or his success. So something about that is significant. Some of you guys could uh, start to receive a lot of like clients or success or recognition or it's just more like blessings coming in, miracles, okay? Cause I feel like somebody really trying to fuck your life up and karma did a whole like, it's almost like it boomeranged back on this person and now it's hitting them, okay? But it's somebody definitely from your past. Could be a water sign or this Aries. What else? Clarify the emperor card. Yeah, it's a no. Somebody's work or money is blocked off. Somebody was possibly a hoe with the king of wands. Okay, still a hoe. I don't know. That's what I just heard. Still a hoe. Okay, so spirit is confirming that. I don't know. I feel like spirit is yes. Spirit is tired of this person acting like this. I don't know what this person thinks. I don't know how they think, but it's just giving me, somebody is extremely egotistical. You could have told this person about themselves and I feel like you're walking karma. So, yep, 333. Three, three. So, if somebody encounters you collective and they do you wrong, you better hope and pray that you can save your life, literally, because I don't know who you are collective, but you're somebody powerful too. And I feel like all you have to do is say it through words, I don't know, you could have a Libra placement, it could be a Libra in your Mercury, that could be significant, but I feel like all you have to do is say it. So let's just say if somebody was trying to send you the evil eye, you're like, okay, well I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. That's all you said. That shit hits people times 20. That's what I wanna say. And that's what's happening to this person in spirit. They know exactly where to hit you. When it comes to karma, they do. I just heard someone say they do. And I feel like with this person, they were very egotistical. They only cared about money. So guess what is hitting them? Their pockets, okay? And I feel like on top of that, with this person receiving karma, it's almost like you're getting all of this person's blessings on top of your blessings. So you're getting double the blessings. That's why I said people don't want to fuck with you, bro. They don't. It's almost like you have to give people a warning collective because it's like they really don't know what they're walking into. But then, if you think about it, it's their fault. They should have never did uh, dirty things to you. That's what I'm getting. But seriously, like, I don't know. You're very powerful. And it's almost like at a snap of the finger, your spirit team is like, okay, what's up? You called us. Okay, we got you. Like, that's what I'm getting for real. What else? So, 
So your spirit team do not play about you. Okay. What is it about this air sign? They watching somebody. Are they watching over you? Okay. They're watching over you. Your spirit team is literally protecting you. You could feel like there's more of like energy around you or I don't know. You could feel a little eerie, but not in a bad way. I feel like that's your spirit team like... I don't know, they're just near you more. Cause again, people have you fucked up, I wanna say, and people were possibly throwing spell your uh, spell work your way. And I feel like your spirit team seen that and they're blocking it. Literally with the page of swords and the king of swords. Okay? Like I feel like you could possibly be the air sign or they're just watching over you heavily. Like you have somebody who doesn't play about you. It's like, bro, what's up? I'm ready for battle. If you got an issue, then you got an issue with me. Like, I don't know, that's just, I feel like somebody picked at the wrong person they should have never fucked with you because it's almost like you don't even have to fight this person not energetically or anything like i feel like your spirit team is on it it's almost like it's a dog and you're like okay go sick them go because it's a predator like that's what i'm getting that's what you're doing to whoever this person is because you don't fuck with them this person showed their colors and i feel like they're getting the karma that they deserve okay they should have never did this so what else you don't give a fuck. You're like, bro, I don't care if you're getting karma. You shouldn't ever fuck with me. Goodbye. Toodaloo. Like, I, I feel like you're just moving forward. You don't care. Like, you really don't give a fuck. Okay? This person could possibly still be watching you as well. Keeping tabs on you. And this person's mad as they're doing it. How are you going to be watching me if you mad? Like, I don't know. Somebody, yes. They're watching you. This is in secret. You're, you don't know this. Or they say you don't know it. Because I feel like somebody could possibly have a fake account. Or they're doing something. Or they're just watching you. Okay, at night. If somebody knows where you live. Bro, they're even doing that. Watching and shit. But they're not doing anything about it. So this person is scary, literally. This person is scary, bro. And they could be doing it in their car with the chariot. Yes and no. And I feel like you don't care because you're in your bed peace, uh, peacefully sleeping. That's what I'm getting, okay? So this person is like literally wasting all of their energy on you. So not only are you taking their miracles, you're taking their energy without even trying, bro. Without even trying because this person's so worried about you. When you're worried about somebody 24-7, you're feeding into their energy. But I feel like you're not. This person is. So they're just even more tired. And then they're getting annoyed and shit and you have nothing to do with it. You're like, listen, I let you go a long time ago. I knew you were going to get karma. You didn't want to listen to me. I had a whole bunch of wisdom for your stupid ass and you didn't want to listen. So can you move along? Like, I feel like you really don't care. Okay? For real. Literally, this was, bro, the Ten of Swords in the fucking eight of, eight of Cups. Literally, that's what I just seen. For real. You don't care. You're like, bro, I'm so glad that I left. Thank God. Like, I feel like you're very sarcastic, and that's what this person hates. I am going to say that, okay? So this person could hate your sarcastic ass, okay? That's what I'm getting. So what else? And this is somebody who, like, has a lot to say behind the scenes. But if this person's in your face, they're scared as fuck, okay? And this is giving me a whole masculine doing this. Or it could be a feminine, okay? Doing this to a masculine. The hell? So what else? But, yeah, this person going through it. Like, I would not want to be them. Like, it's almost like, damn, like, why, why would you do the collective like that? Now you fucked up. Like, that's what it's giving me. Somebody is fucked up over you, but they fucked themselves by fucking with you. Literally, that's what I'm getting. What else? So somebody is, like, practically fucked. Bro, like, they're, I don't know, they're just going through it. Especially if they're, like, in it with the fucking legal system. Oh, yeah, they, no. 9-11, you could be seeing that number. That could be significant. This person ain't, no. This person may even be going to jail. I don't know. Okay, I don't know what this person did to you. This could even be spiritual jail. Okay, so what else? That's why it's like this person shouldn't have fucked with you. And now we have to throw that ass back. Okay, so you could be doing this to somebody new. That's why you walked away because you're like, bro, I already have somebody new. I'm not worried about you. And I'm throwing my ass on him. Okay, loves to eat. <laughs> like, okay, so this could possibly be about your new person. Your person loves to pleasure you. Okay, we're going to tap to this new energy. Oh my god. And then we have come sit on my face. Get it? Come sit on my face. 
<laughs> I feel like you're being petty. So if you're if somebody is watching you heavily collective, you could possibly be dating somebody, right? Some of y'all. Y'all could be dating somebody right now. And you guys are going back and forth on social media or you're po possibly posting a lot of things. Like it's kind of like, what is it? I don't know. I feel like somebody is seeing you go back and forth and that's why they're mad. Okay, because maybe you are in a relationship and you guys are going back and forth with each other on social media and this person can only do is watch. That's the only thing this person could be doing is watching you and being mad because you possibly have somebody and that's who we're talking about right here. Woo! Baby! Okay? This will put you to sleep. Confirmation. I don't know who the fuck you fucking with. This somebody new, ain't it? Yup, it's somebody new. 7.55 and... <laughs> Laugh. Bro, what? And then it's funny because my dude just sent me like a freaky text. I'm not even playing, bro. Like that is significant. Bro, how does this work? Spirit, how you be doing this? The fact that my dude literally just texted me and I'm talking about this, bro. I'm telling y'all, some of some of y'all have somebody new. 1111! Bro, I just seen that. So some of y'all can have somebody new, and this is how they making you feel. Okay. It's just no words, silence, please. Okay, like I feel like you are good. No wonder you don't care. <sighs> Sorry, my nose is stuffy. But no wonder you really don't give a fuck. I, I see. Now I see. What else, Spirit? What else? Okay, I gotta go in with Tarot because who is this person? Spirit, is this somebody new? Let me know, Spirit. This is funny. So who is this person? Spirit talking about this dick will put you to sleep. Huh? <laughs> what? Oh, this gotta be some good healing sex, okay? Who is this person, Spirit? Let me know. Is this somebody else? Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Ten of Cups, the Six of Cups. Bro, the Queen of Cups and the Seven of Swords. This could be somebody from your past. 12 to 2. Okay, this is somebody possibly from like your past or your childhood. Maybe you guys were just friends, but okay, okay. And this person could have had somebody, but y'all never took it far. Now this person is single, okay? Because I don't know, somebody could have cheated on them. Confirmation, a Queen of Cups could have cheated on this new person that's connected with you. Does that make sense? Did I say it right, Spirit? I feel like I did. So this is somebody, whoever this person is over here, this is somebody new. Well, actually, no, I don't want to say somebody new. This is somebody from your past, but you guys did not date. I repeat, you guys did not date because this person was in a relationship, but now I feel like this person is free because this motherfucker cheated on them or did something to them in the past, which made this person free themselves. And now you guys are possibly together or that's what's going to ha happen. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Clarify that 10 of cups. Clarify the 10 of cups. I'm telling you, this is somebody from their past. Yes, I told you, some of you guys were just friends or you worked together, that's it. You did not date this person. What else? So what about this person, Spirit? Is this like their soulmate? Can we get one card? Is this their soulmate or something? Let me know so I can get all the messages. Who is this person, Spirit? The Four of Swords. This is somebody that you get after you heal, after you come out of hermit mode, because I feel like you have to heal from whoever this person is, or that's what's gonna happen now, or that's what you're doing now. You're healing from this situation, yes, so that you can have a soulmate. I knew this person was a soulmate. This person could be an earth sign. This person loyal. Oh my God, this person is, bro, this is good news for this person to be sent in your way, because I feel like this is everything that you're looking for. Everything. And I know some people can say that the King of Pentacles is boring, but this person got money, but I feel like this person is not boring at all. Okay, this person has Sagittarius in their chart, so I feel like they're very fun too. Somebody just may be career oriented, or they may love making money, or they may have a lot of money because, I don't know, I just feel like this person is a workaholic, okay? But they may slow down a little bit, step into kind of like their travel mode, because I feel like this you're going to make this person in a way... 
step outside of their comfort zone or that's what they're gonna do to you maybe you're a workaholic and you need to like go on trips somewhere i don't know i just feel like somebody's gonna really get you out of your element but it's good okay that's what i'm getting so i feel like this person does have that calm earth energy but then again that fire okay let's go out let's have fun like i feel like this person knows how to do both this person could even be an extrovert and an uh, introvert i'm getting that too whoever this other person is so there's two people and it's funny because i split it down the middle the white cards these cards are in the middle so again this is the past energy this is something that i feel like spirit is letting you know hey this person's finally getting their karma you don't have to worry about this person they're about to be out of your energy good job for passing the test okay boom moving on to somebody new this soulmate energy and i feel like this is when your life excuse me really takes off that's what i'm getting what else What else? Queen of Swords. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you don't have to have your guard up anymore. Excuse me, because I feel like this person can't hurt you. Yeah, I told you. Spirit, they, they got you. You don't have to worry anymore because I feel like your spirit team is taking care of this person over here. The person that you don't want. They are. Okay, I just heard them say that. We are. Yes, you don't have to worry. Like, maybe you're going to have, like, I feel like maybe now you're going to have um, more, like, you're going to be getting more sleep because maybe you were, like, restless before because you always felt like somebody was, like, watching you or you know how sometimes they can send you, like, monitoring spirits? Yeah, you could have felt like that shit was around you and shit. That's why I said some of y'all could have been feeling paranoid or, like, eerie and shit and it's really somebody trying to mess with you, Okay. What else? So I told you this person ain't got no money. Damn, this person ain't got no money, bro. And you know what's crazy too? I feel like this person from the past, this Aries, is possibly holding on to you because they knew. It's almost like they knew in their heart that they were going, that you were going to get true love. They knew it. That's why they, I feel like this is why this person did not want to let go of you because of that. It's almost like somebody was very selfish. This person didn't want to change, but this person didn't want to put in the work either that's a big no okay and now that you have somebody actually doing that they're sad they're mad they're crying they're sending you things and i feel like you're only sending it back and really it's just going to help you be even more happy okay because i feel like you deserve it you're tired of people playing with you you're tired of going through these goddamn lessons you're like spirit that was the last last lesson that i was gonna go through like when am i gonna get my person like am i ready like, you know, like, I feel like you could have got really annoyed, but I feel like now is your time to really shine with somebody next to you. Some of y'all have been single for years, and I feel like you healed enough. You're, it's time for you to actually be with this person, and you guys can heal together. That's what I'm getting. Okay? What else? Yes, I told you, together, it's time for you to be with somebody. The chariot. See, it's two people in this car. Two. Two. Yin and yang, I'm telling you, both of you guys possibly need each other in some sort of way. You and this new person, that's the only person I'm talking about. What else? Can we get one card? Yeah, and this person and you are saying hell no to the third parties, yeah. And this person is hurt, damn. It tossed right over to this person's side. I'm telling you right now, this person is hurt as hell. Like, this is, I, I don't even know what to say. Like, the only thing this person can do is possibly watch you and cry. Literally, three of swords is tears. So this person could be crying when no one's watching. Literally, when no one's looking, okay? And this person may have somebody else too, but it's just like, they're not satisfied. Should have chose correctly, I don't know. Yeah, this person even has a family, bro, it's over with. With you and this person, it's done. For real. Like, this person just needs to set you free. It's almost like your higher self is asking them, like, hello, can, can I, can you let me go? Can you cut the cord? Some of y'all may have to do, like, a cord cutting, okay? You may have to do that with this person, especially from the past, so that you can move forward, okay? That way you feel like you don't have, like, an entity or somebody attached to you. Especially if they're trying to, like, if they're hating and they're throwing shit your way because they're mad, okay? So make sure that you're protecting yourself and protecting your energy because somebody is really sad because they lost they queen cho fine ass you could be really fine okay masculines you could be handsome and i feel like somebody's really mad because on top of that too you're attractive they're like damn did i really just like i just fumbled the biggest bag of my life 
for real. You know how like these men out here be betting on those fucking sports apps? Yes. It's almost like you have a big ass bet and you lose it. Millions of dollars, okay? Somebody could possibly be losing millions of dollars. I don't know. Some y'all, this person I'm telling you is going through it financially. So if they feel as if, because I know some people, karmics, they watch me. So if you're going through something and you feel like your money is fucked up, it's possibly from you doing somebody dirty, okay? So I have to give you that. But for others of you, you possibly just know that this person is getting handled by your spirit team. You're like, okay, I'm, I'm tossing this to the trash. Okay, spirit, can you handle it? Can you handle my light work? Thank you. Like, and then you move on. That's what I'm getting. Because I feel like you really don't care. Like, for for real, I feel like you have been so many, le like, you have been uh, going through so many of these lessons. You're used to the shit. That's why it's like, you already know what to do. When you get the warning signs, you get the red flags, you're like, okay, I got to toss this person in the trash because they're lame and they're not good for me. Like, I feel like you finally know how to walk away. And in the past, you possibly didn't. It possibly took you a long ass time to do that because maybe you were codependent, but now it's almost like you know yourself. You know who you are. You're very light, okay? You could even be this temperance card. You could possibly be a Sagittarius, but I feel like you just know who you are as a person and you know what you want. And this is something that you don't want. So you're okay with packing your stuff and moving on silently too. It's almost like this person wants you to fight, bicker, argue, but you're on a whole different level. So why would you step down to the level? Why? Like, I feel like you have other things to do. Plus, you don't care on top of that. So it's like, why would I really waste my energy on you if I don't care? Like, that's what I'm getting. Okay? So that could be uh, significant. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Actually, let me go in with the truth is dot, dot, dot. I told you the truth is I'm gone and I'm never coming back. Okay? That's the truth. So that's what you're saying to whoever this damn Aries slash air sign could definitely be an air sign we got air heavy over here so gemini libra aquarius damn split the deck on lust sexual chemistry but no depth here see i told you this person possibly just wanted sex from you and you're like to hell with that goodbye okay that's why i said somebody fumbled the bag because they wanted to be a little horn dog like bro keep your dick in your pants but this person doesn't know how to do that what else and now you're on somebody else's dick, okay? Literally. <laughs> this dick will put you to sleep, okay? So that's why it's, it's, it's annoying, because it's just like, okay, you want to play those games? Well, I can play them back. What's up? It says, speak up. Time to be honest about the way you feel. Yeah, it's this person. This person is just going to keep watching you, never going to say anything. It's just like, this person is going to go to the grave with their emotions that they have for you. They're never going to tell you. I'm telling you, because this person, like, I don't know, this person has deep-rooted issues. This person is insecure as hell. I don't know. Okay, and I feel like, again, you don't have time to be wasting, like, looking at somebody to see if they're going to actually tell you how they feel. You're like, are you going to tell me or are we just going to sit here? Because I feel like you really don't have time to waste. You don't like wasting time. When people waste your time, like, I feel like it irritates you, you know? That's what I'm getting to. What else? What else for my collective? What else? I feel like you guys were the total opposites too. I'm not gonna lie because some we go. I feel like some of you guys were the total opposites too because some of you guys actually know how to communicate. Uh, communicate, <laughs> sorry, communicate. This person does not. This person is all hush hush and not saying anything. That's not good. How are you even supposed to be in a connection if you can't even talk to each other? You know, and I feel like that could have been an issue that you had. You're like, bro, you can't even speak up for yourself. Like, I don't know. That's a turn off for you. I feel like, you could possibly be an air sign or a fire sign. Like, you need somebody that's going to feed your mind. All that lusty shit can wait. That's what you're saying. <laughs> For real. What else? Yeah, starting over. And I feel like the starting over is with you being with somebody new. This new person over here. Okay? 
that's you starting over literally and you're gonna get everything that you deserve with the ten of cups someone just said you will 100 percent so I feel like you're with the right person. You're with the right person to build, okay? To build with. Dying love. Yeah, over here. I'm telling you, that love is gone. Toodaloo. For real. Like, there is no more love over here in this situation. Yeah, because look, you found yourself. That could have been the lesson. You got to find yourself through this karmic lesson with this person. This Aries or this air sign. Okay? Final messages. Final messages. We have abuse. See, emotional or physical abuse. Yeah, it's a fuck no. I'm sorry. No. And then we have Twin Flame at the back of the deck with break time. Yeah, it was time. Yeah, time apart will be beneficial to this connection. Yeah, time apart from this person. Because I feel like you need to find yourself or you need to see what did you want in a relationship. And you found out it wasn't this person. So you moved on. It says you are involved in a Twin Flame union. Okay. So again, this is your new person that we're talking about right here. Okay, so you made a sacrifice and I feel like you left somebody from the past and now you're with somebody new. Okay, this connection could be very healing. This could be somebody from your past. You guys just possibly never dated. And I feel like this is a long term connection with the Ten of Cups and the Chariot. I feel like the only obstacle that you're possibly going to get have to go over is these exes showing up because this person has an ex, like I said, and this person is your ex. So that's possibly the only obstacle that you guys are going to have to face. Other than that, y'all going to be good. Y'all going to be happy and you're going to be living your life. Okay. And everybody else is just going to be something of the past, especially this person. This is just somebody that you used to know. Okay. So yeah, that is what I am getting for your reading. I hope you enjoyed the messages that came through. Please like, comment down below, hit the like button if it was accurate. Let your girl know in the comments if it was. Also, you guys, don't forget if you guys want any of my um, Patreon or my um, Etsy shop, my personal readings, the links will be on there. Again, you guys, my IG is hacked. So don't get scammed i will be making a new one and actually putting it in my youtube um page so yeah you don't have to worry about that now okay but yeah i just hope you guys have a good night and i'll see you guys next time peace <laughs>